Mega Man main from San Diego. So we got Void and Jimmy. They're debating the counter pick stages right now. We're trying to decide what stage to start on. And even in general, just speaking about San Diego wise, we don't really see San Diego too much as often. We only usually see an AC. So, but with Breakthrough coming up pretty soon, hopefully we'll see San Diego uh, make waves. Yeah. In the Arcadian scene. All right, so Void versus Jimmy. This is Final Destination game number one. Yeah, Void's gonna be oh, rocking nice. the DLC sheet. Of course, um, if you didn't already know, Void kind of officially dropped Pichu since uh, after the completion of Smash and Splash and also the latest patch drop. So he's definitely gonna be seeing a little bit more of his Joker, a little bit more of his Sheik. Peach, and, uh, maybe? Peach and Daisy for sure. Uh, Joker right here in this matchup. I'm not too sure. I haven't seen too much of it, but I can expect Joker just to do well, period. The one character. thing the one thing you have against Palatina is that you shut down her going auto radical and explosive flame simply because you can just rebel guard it and make it almost free our sand. Alright, board gets the stage here. Good grab. Get him back off. Sets up for the backer because he knows Jimmy had already gone for auto radical. Thus forcing Jimmy to go from too far off left and get back. That was crazy. Yeah. Alright, Void getting up off the ledge, throwing out a down tilt with our sand super quick. Really meaty hitboxes with our sand, of course, and he's already threatening with that down air. Added hitbox, which gives him a spike. Uh Oh, bring him back in oh, here, man. No. Okay. Reel me up a big one here. Hopefully, Trying to force out an air dodge, too, charging up that forward smash. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I need to work on that little tether cancel. I think for here, for Void, what he was looking for is a little punish, but then Jimmy just kind of held shield out of fear, and that allowed Void to go for a grab. And that's kind of what you feel against Joker at times, is that you do feel a little bit of the pressure. A lot of the backers approach can be quite scary simply because it's pretty good on frame data. Now, wow, he went extra low and hopefully he was trying to catch Jimmy off guard, but Jimmy was definitely land on the stage, go for the back air, and like I mentioned earlier... That was so fortunate, dude. Yeah. He had the read. Jimmy threw out the explosive flame, but Arsene came out in the nick of time. And of course, when your persona is activated, you do have invincibility frames, so... You know that's the that's the way fortune was in uh, <laughs> in Void's favor in that it, moment. Dude, at that point you ask God, what if I can have a stock and God said no? <laughs> <laughs> Still, uh, Jimmy keeping it tight to the chest right now. Oh, what a beautiful conversion off the fair one drag down up air into the up smash. Void showing why this character is Sheik 2.0 in this game. Oh, DLC the loops. Sheik. Give me the loops. He almost had him too, but unfortunately he drew off the third one that goes for the re-grab. Forward air would have converted at that percent because you can definitely mix up with it between forward air, up air, or a drag down up air and go for another opportunity here. It's something you're, you're seeing uh, Void utilize a lot to get a lot of damage, nearly getting that drag down uh, up air into the down smash, but Jimmy able to pop out of it fast enough. Is He's using a lot of the, the rainstorm, the down, use, uh, down gun, Back here, yeah, that's enough. Yeah. Using the down gun, which with or without our sand, it, like it has such little uh, knockback, and that you can combo it into pretty much anything. You can land, you, you, you can land with it into a grab. You can land with it into an aerial, like exactly. It's it's you can land with it into dash attack. You can land with it into to do you name it. Just, just the down gun, super good. It's really good too, especially when you go off stage, because I mentioned it earlier. If you guys have been listening to the stream, the closer your opponent gets to it, the more knockback they receive. And when you go for it in the, on the ledge, your opponent is going to have to close into the ledge and you close it on the ledge. So it kind of does stuff that recovery that your opponent is hoping to get from. Especially when they have to go for those low recoveries. Here, Void is going to go ahead and change up to Daisy. Yeah. It's definitely a character he has been practicing overall if you've been watching his streams. Really strong character. I mean, he's been playing this character since early, actually, even when he was still maining Pichu. Uh, even using him in a couple sets that I've commentated back then. But Jimmy, seeing, looking like he's like, man, you're Daisy, get, the, get, this, get this ish out of here. Get this, get this fraudulent Daisy main off my stream. Oh, Unfortunately. Man. You can't call it that, though. You can't call it that. 
Fraudulent is definitely not. Uh -oh. Sensor probably watching like, hold on, man. I got my eye on you, boy. What are you doing? I don't, I don't what, know. What, 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 what peach tag, what, what daisy tag do you have Can I steal? Me? Can I steal this? What, what am I going to steal from you? Oh, Void with the stitch eye. And he actually able to find a conversion off of it. Yeah. Oh my god. He wanted Jimmy Down to smash. choose his options. Yep, there yeah. it is. What great coverage. Just not letting up on the pedal. Going 0 to 100 and taking that first KO. Down air, drag down up air. Nice. Yeah, he tried to drag him down into the down tilt. Oh my god. Jimmy was so scared he Bro. tacked, but unfortunately he went for a Press some more dodge. buttons yeah. on him. Bro, okay. All right, Daisy. Yeah, man, we, got full, <laughs> we got full cancels on lock. Dude, it's crazy because the amount of moves that like Void is throwing out unpunished is is wild. Like, I'm just like, what? It's kind of like this character like this. It's kind of like who let this happen? Not only that, you're <laughs> like you're like in a dance battle and your opponent's uh, like break dancing, and you're out there doing the cabbage patch. That's the problem. You're only just flossing when your opponent is on a break dance. All right, Jimmy trying to cross up on the shield. The second attempt will be fruitful. Yet to find the KO. Possible grab here, but the back throw's not gonna be enough. Oh man, fattest princess in the game, dude. She survived that one. I wasn't gonna kill him out of rage, and he wasn't at the ledge. Who's heavier, Peach or Palutena? Or Peach, Daisy, or Palutena? You would think Palutena because she's actually a taller woman. Right? But it, is that the case? She's a goddess, too. It, it might be. Who's who's heavier? I'm t I mean, I'm tall. I'm heavier than you, man. Oh! <laughs> yeah, but some, sometimes that. that, that don't make sense. I mean, Rosalina's tall as hell. She weighs, she's like a heavyweight yeah, in Mario like, Kart, but she's a lightweight in this game. So. That is very true. She wouldn't play well, though, if she was like a, a heavyweight for sure, though. No, she'd, be really, she'd be really clunky. She'd suck. All right. She does now, bro. <laughs> We're not wrong. She's not yep. that great. Yep, she's not that great. She's all right. All right. She's just waiting for the, the right player. The, the right player, the right patch, the right moment here. But for Jimmy, Ooh. that was not the right moment going in for a grab. But that boy was only looking to see how Jimmy was going to go to the approach. And he's so good at getting that whip punish that goal. Great parry and almost gets the up tilt. All right, Nair out of shield. Let's see how he's going to trap him at the ledge. Kind of throws out these back airs. Goes oh, in for that might, immediate this, up smash. I was going to say, this might spell death the way he's going for the down tilt. And he wanted the ledge jump back up. But unfortunately, Jimmy did not give that to boy. Void's so good with such pressure, he's keeping Jimmy at the corner. He throws him with back airs, and he even goes for arrows because Palutena loves to go for things like forward air or nair when they come up from the ledge. This character is honestly so good for Void. I mean, he is known for playing very like technically heavy characters, and this, yeah. he's just absolutely putting his tech skill on display right here. Oh. Charging up that forward smash by the ledge. Not going to beat out that get up, uh, that get up attack, though. Ooh, back, back air. air. We're down to our final stocks right here. Jimmy with a sign of life. 96% to make up for. Here's one nair, two nairs, catching the up air, but not going to find the second one. I mean, this is Jimmy's finest hour here. If he can get a game, he could be looking at a potential comeback with momentum properly in his hands. But unfortunately, boy, still with great pressure. He definitely sensed the fact that Jimmy has to go low and toss the turn up low enough to stop him. He reads the jump get up because at this point, Jimmy had to come in for that option. He was already too scared to go for the neutral get up and the way that boy has been turning him at the ledge. Ooh, gotta be careful. What a pivot grab. Jimmy has momentum in his favor right now, spacing his aerials by the ledge, he catches his back air. And Void in danger of losing this game. Trump back out here, and he steals it away from Void. Void Ooh. was like, hold on, man. You can really tell that Jimmy was playing confident against this particular counter pick. As soon as he saw the Daisy out on the field, he was like, I'm going in. Yeah. I'm going in. Bam, it's time to go in. Well, good stuff to Jimmy. Really good opportunity because he was going for back air. Back air doesn't have intangibility on the top portion of Paladin's uh, her box kind of like works like super armor and tangent. So it's really good for him to go for it. This time, the boy is gonna say, you know what, I'm done showing everybody how my beach does. Unfortunately, it's not ready. All Let's right. go ahead and put Joker back to the place. Joker off the bench and up to bat this time around. Yeah, you yeah. kind of put him back on the bench because you know what, like, Joker, Ooh. you did so good, take a break. Oh, here we go, Fruit Loops. Hopefully Jimmy doesn't put in his milk for the cereal here. At this point, he's gonna need to be careful. <laughs> he's Yo, get... Mr. R is in the building too. Yeah, he is too. He needs to make sure he gets his own loops. How could you call him out like that? 
The, man, the world must be. The world must know, man. You, you to, never put your milk first. You had to watch the world burn. All right, here's an up throw from Boyd. He catches a double jump up air. This is a. I like this stage counter pick from Void for sure. Flat stage, no platforms. Yep. Palatina get extensions, especially on the platforms. Well, um, this is gonna force Palatina to also respect each get up here because if she does go for oh an aerial, God. Joker can just get a back air and stuff it out, as well as also just go ahead and pivot grab or regrab. This is solid spacing for Void because, like I said, you can also just get a back air or we can roll get up and pivot grab. Down throw right bear, but he missed the opportunity there. Usually at those percents they won't work, but they're good if your opponent has the wrong DI. There's a back throw from Jimmy. Still living on our first stocks right here, and our send is incredibly powerful. Definitely, Jimmy has to play really carefully right now. It's gone. I'm back telling here. you, it's really good because Jimmy has to also force respect the fact that if I go for a jump get up, Joker can go for a back and the way that boy has been doing a tremendous amount of work at the ledge. So good. Get the drag down upper and extend it. Almost gets the conversion off the up B. That would have been so good because it would have gotten more percent and put Jimmy into farther disadvantage for him. For Jimmy at this point, if, if, if what you're thinking is, what do I do here? It's also understand how Boyd's gonna approach his back air and then try to respond to it. All right, forwarder. He definitely got the whip punish there because he gave up a little bit of space from the ledge, so Jimmy can try to go for an arrow and Boyd gets the benefit from it. Oh, okay. I mean, he charged up an F smash, and he was like, "Well, you know, you can F, you can try to F smash me, but try to get th through this pillar of light." Yo, man, getting through the pillar of light is trying to get like oh. little light. It's very, very long. Oh. Like <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Oh, he almost got Jimmy on slipping there on the. We upbeat. ain't got music unlocked on the setup yet. <laughs> Thanks for the music. Thanks for the light. So much fun. Anyways, Jimmy is not having fun. And for Boyd, he's doing a really good job of now. Look at the way he's mixing up in gun. And very, like, I'm surprised we haven't seen that kind of gunplay from Boyd. We did see it game one, but I feel like Boyd's just trying to keep it very simple. All right. And just get to the victory, because Jimmy is up, not necessarily up on Boyd, but he's pretty even in stocks. Yeah, this is about an even game. I mean, Arsene is going to be the determining factor right now. It's Jimmy has control here. Oh, snap. Falling there. Will he wait? Uh, I was gonna say he wanted to get the ledge jump, but I feel like he should have stayed on stage. He should have. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Because at this point, he absolutely risked it and lost the stock to that back air. Now Boyd with an opportunity to extend this lead. He gets a grab. Up air's not gonna connect. Yeah. Straight 35 up. though. Yeah. That stock will just that lost stock and Jim trying to go for an off stage back air on the ledge jump cost yeah. him so much. Yeah, it really did. You can definitely respect the play though. But I do, yeah, for sure, because it's like, okay, I know that boy's going to go for the, for the upper recovery. If I can get him here, it would be good. That up smash is not going to work because you're facing the other direction. Boyd wasn't going to go yeah. for a roll. He, he, was, trying, for roll he was trying to get a read for yeah. sure. He's reading the wrong textbook, man. Boyd out here with the Kindle Fire, like, hold on, man, who reads books anymore? <laughs> he, he, he didn't realize what the assignment was. He's reading from the right book, just he didn't get the right assignment. He was on Chapter 11, man. The whole class is on Chapter 13. All right, man. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what the true lesson has been done here. Because Boyd doing an excellent job. Gets the grab. Senses the neutral get up here. He's got Jimmy so scared, man. He's like, like, what? What options do I pick? Where do I go? Yeah, absolutely controlling the game right now. Boyd going for a ledge from back air of his own. The gun. Jimmy's like, how's he gonna trap the landing? Oh yeah. Jimmy's probably like, you know what? Can I, can I get a phone call to San Diego? Like, fam, what do I do? Another AC back air. Me? Oh, I love the gun right there. Repositioned himself to, uh, and kind of just kept himself afloat in the sky. Single gun. Mm -hmm. He waits for the option. Great use of trying to go for uh, a whiff grab. There's our sand. Oh my gosh. All right, you can see Boyd just throwing out Tetracarn. Yeah. There's a neutral air. All right, the neutral air is going to be taken. 173%. Wow. All Boyd has to do is sneeze on him. Down throw maybe might even do it. No. I was going to say, like, watch yourself there because yeah. when you come back from the angel platform, your opponent oh, usually yep. just tends to take things away from you. And that's it, man. Two to one. But Jimmy with a very, very crucial.